All right, what's up? So I'm here and I'm going to show you why I think cutting calories is beta behavior. Okay, cutting calories is beta behavior. And we're gonna start by showing you what I mean by that, by using my Facebook profile pictures. All right, so first we're gonna go here, golden years. When it's an album on, on, on the Facebook. This is myself, Young Henry. I joined JROTC. I remember I had a friend back in middle school and he always kept wearing uh, this like camouflage military outfit. And I was like, I thought to myself, or I asked him, dude, wh what is it that you do? And he was telling me, you know, hey, we, um, we go to boot camp, we do paintball and all these things. I was like, whoa, I want to join. So then I joined, and next thing you know, I'm getting yelled at on my face. I'm doing push-ups, and it really helped kind of push me, um, and just help me <laughs> help me to work hard and stuff. But I was also chubby. You can see here, you know, uh, I was eating like ham, cheese, uh, chocolate milk, and all this stuff, and just had low self-esteem. And uh, this is myself again. This was back actually 20 years ago. When I was 10, I think, went to this field trip. You can see I was chubby. I was actually in band in middle school. I played the trombone. And again, you can see chubby. Back when I tried out baseball. I tried baseball, you know. And uh, I think I hated it. <laughs> I looked, un I, looked un I think I was uncomfortable in that stuff. But I actually don't look that bad. But I was I was afraid of getting hit by the balls. I remember the last time I played, I was like I, I faked having an asthma attack. <laughs> Everyone knew I was faking it. And then this is me back in uh, when I was tod not a toddler, but these are my my beautiful brothers and sisters. And uh, back then I was actually I was actually skinny. And then here, so here we can really see. My, pro my progression into depression. First, young Henry, smiling, innocent into the world. Older, then I started getting f chubby or, you know, fatter. And I had a, a bit of a smile, you know. And then my smile started going away <laughs> the next year. And then after that, okay, smile, not really there anymore. Okay, now I've got a frown going on. And now I've got a super frown and then here where I was kind of like dead inside because I was cutting so much calories just to lose weight So right now, you know that I was a chubby child And so now, you know here I was skinny I was skinny, but I wasn't even happy look at look not even a smile, bro. I Wasn't I was not eating a lot not drinking enough water, but I was like I look good But I wasn't happy and then uh, World of Warcraft. And then I got here. I started to gain some weight. 3 a.m. That's what happens when you don't get enough sleep. You gain weight. You want to make sure you go to bed 8, 10 p.m., bro. Otherwise, you know, that doesn't help with your mood. All right, here we go. Waking up at 6.50 p.m. Bro, I, I didn't even have enough energy to wake up early. I've slept the whole day. What am I going to do the rest of the day? There's, the day is gone. You know? I had long hair. I thought it looked good because I just woke up and I was young. <laughs> but the thing is, I wasn't eating enough. I didn't have enough food, enough carbs, enough water to have some passion. So I, or enough energy to find my purpose in life. This was me back in Guatemala. I went to Guatemala and Guatemala actually was where I really got to see what it meant to be a passport bro. Before passport bro was a thing. I remember... Um, going over there and you know women were really nice to to me and my brother uh, and you know i kind of i already kind of knew why you know because we had a passport and we could bring women over but i never thought like i never i never i guess i never really used it you know to my advantage but uh that's i'm going to the philippines and i'm going to try it out and see if it still feels the same and uh that's my cousin there um and here i am you know, I'm wearing a beanie, skinny, but not really smiling. I couldn't even sit straight on this one. 
depressed. I remember just being like, man, I'm a virgin, man. No, I don't have a girlfriend. Dude, if I could tell young Henry, you know, but he wouldn't even listen to me because he, you know, I don't know. Well, actually, maybe he would have. I, I really don't know. Young Henry, if, if time traveling ever is, becomes a thing, I want you to know. You gotta, you gotta carve up. You'll find, you'll, everything will be okay, you know. Here I am again, skinny. Um, procrastinating. This was when I tried college, and I'm like, I hated college. I'm never gonna go to college. It's not for me. But you know, it's not enough energy. Here I, I look, I actually look like I've got a full face and some energy, but I just, you know, I was lifting weights too. But still, and then this is once I started following Dream Rider. I'm like, I started riding bikes. You can see I actually have a smile. I'm smiling. Um, here I am again, really embracing Dream Rider's protocols back in 2016. I'm smiling, you know, sun, um, and just riding my bike. I was thinking, I, was, I, I love this bike so much. My mom bought me this bike back in 2016, 2015. And I, I rode the heck out of that bike. I started gaining weight, but I was still, you know, smashing in the miles. And really, I even bought this cycling kit. You can see 100 miles. I was loving it. I was starting to gain some weight because I was eating, like, avocados, tofu, vegan cheese, vegan pizzas, vegan ice cream and stuff. I thought it would be okay because I was riding so much and I was skinny. But, um... And then you know, I started blowing up because I kept eating that way. And that's how I gained so much weight today. Right. Um, here's me, January 25. And I've gained weight. But uh, it's been already a couple of months that I've cut the fat completely. So I'm stuck with the sugar. I had too much sugar in the, in the beginning of the year. I was drinking like 600 grams of sugar. and Just dumping it on my food. I felt bloated. I felt sick. But I've cut back and I just drink a cup and just sip it. Helps me gain more energy. Definitely you can, I have more energy when, than compared to when I was at 600 grams because I, I, I felt so lethargic. Um, but I was also eating, I, I don't know. Don't want to go too much into that, make this video too long. Um, but yeah, I'm lifting weights. You shouldn't really lift weights if you're trying, your goal is to lose weight because lifting weights is what makes you anabolic. It releases anabolic hormones, which is what, you know, gives us that pump. But uh, I'm, embra I'm trying to embrace being fat, being chubbier, because when I was skinny, I wasn't happy. And now that I'm fat, you know, if I go, if I'm skinny again, I, I probably won't be happy if I'm not happy with how I am now, how I look. And uh, anyways, yeah, I've, I've gained so much energy that I, I kind of, I really just love lifting heavy stuff now. <laughs> And hitting a punchy bag, really letting out a lot of the aggression and stuff. But I'm enjoying it. It's all about enjoying the journey now. Um, I don't know how long it'll take for me to lose the weight. I'm going to keep sticking with it. I feel good. And I'm happier. I don't care how heavy I am. You know, I'm riding my bike. I'm, I've got, I'm saving money. Um, I'm meeting new people. And I really love what I'm doing now. So it's... My, my life has improved so much because of during, following during writer's advice. Anyways, that's it. That's all I want to talk about. That's why I think cutting calories is beta. You know, people te keep, like I said, people keep telling me, cut calories so you can burn fat. All this science, blah, blah, blah. Um, bullshit. <laughs> now, sure, some of the science is true and stuff. I understand. But the thing is, I just showed you firsthand what happens if I cut calories. Anyways, thanks for uh, watching.